take your eyes off. <laughs> Well, that was a major success. So a key focus of the work on this trip is uh, attaching what we call biologger packages onto uh, white sharks. The biologger packages that we've got here are triaxial accelerometers, so they're measuring basically the very fine scale body position of the, of the animal in three axes. What we've got in particular with our biologues though is they're pretty advanced uh, packages. So we have a triaxial accelerometer, but we've also linked those with in one tag sonar. And so basically the tag is just generating a constant time series of sonar images in front of the shark. The second biologue we're using is linked with the hydrophone. And so what that's doing is it's recording the ambient sound in the environment. The third biologue that we're using is actually equipped with a, a little propeller that measures the true swim speed of the animal. Now that's key because many times we've been using accelerometers, but we just use accelerometers. So we have this really intense, amazing data on the animal and we've got reasonable confidence in the natural behavior of the uh, animal. But we don't truly know, it's not validated. And so the tags that we're using on this particular trip allow that validation. And so that can really help us to understand what is the true behavior of the animal. It's fantastic. This is, you know, a first time that these particular, uh, particularly the hydrophone and the sonar tag are, are being deployed on wide sharks. When you're working on large animals, the O-Search really provides a platform to, one, be able to handle these animals efficiently uh, and effectively. But the other key is, obviously, all the other data that's been generated on the animal at the same time. And so then being able to link the acceleration data with all the other samples that have been taken. So the O-Search platform provides that. You know, you've got a platform uh, that gives the actual time and focused attention on the white shark in Atlantic Canada. And that is absolutely key if we're going to address and derive the data that we need for management and conservation. <laughs>